The vehicle owner wants the efficient working of the vehicle. If your car starts and then dies immediately, it means there is something wrong with your car. In most cases, the problem is not hard to fix and you can get the engine running with little effort. Reasons why a car starts then dies 1. Bad idle air control valve The idle air control valve plays a big role in the efficient working of the car. This valve is installed to regulate the air-fuel mixture at idle. It also helps to manage the idle speed when the engine load changes, such as turning up the radio, or turning on the air conditioning. The failure of the idle air control valve can result in unstable idle speed or a complete stall of the vehicle. This applies in particular to cold start conditions. 2. Insufficient fuel The proper supply of fuel is very important for the efficient working of the car. As the fuel level becomes low than the required level of the vehicle, the vehicle starts creating issues and sometimes does not start. Therefore, add more fuel to the fuel tank before driving. However, a low fuel level is easy to find. 3. Vacuum Leak A vacuum leak is a hole in the MAF sensor area that permits unmetered air to enter the engine. If you have a major vacuum leak, this can actually cause the car's air-fuel mixture to become too lean. In such conditions, your car will die after a couple of seconds every time you try to start your car. However, if the leakage is significant, your fuel injector might be unable to catch up with the additional unmetered air, entering the system necessary for a complete combustion chamber ignition. 4. Dirty Fuel Filter The fuel filter ensures contaminated free fuel supply to the vehicle engine. It removes contamination from the fuel and then supplies it to the engine. If your car stalls after you turn the ignition on, it means you have fuel-related issues. Starting a car might be exceedingly difficult if the gasoline filter is clogged. 5. Faulty MAF Sensor A MAF or mass airflow sensor measures the amount of air entering your car's engine. Any dirt and oil buildup that's able to go past the engine air filter can easily pollute the sensor. A dirty MAF sensor may often read incorrect air measurements, which will mess up the air-fuel ratio, and your car will die. 6. Bad Fuel Injectors The fuel injector is used to inject the fuel into the combustion chambers. The fuel injector function is to deliver the precise amount of fuel according to the combustion chamber requirements. If a fuel injector fails, it can cause the engine to run on fewer cylinders, and also cause the fuel pressure to become low if one is stuck open. 7. Faulty Spark Plug The combustion engine works by igniting an air-fuel mixture. The spark plugs provide the spark for this ignition. If the spark plugs are faulty, the ignition will fail, and the car will stop moving. The car will start for some seconds, but misfire too much with a weak spark, causing the engine to die very soon after you start your car. 8. Bad Carburetor For an older vehicle that doesn't rely on electronic fuel injection, the carburetor is an essential component of the internal combustion process. This device combines air and fuel in the right ratio for combustion. A bad carburetor will likely throw off the air and fuel ratio, causing your car to stall. 9. Faulty Ignition Switch If your ignition switch is damaged, you may start the car normally, and after a few seconds, the car will come to a complete stop. 
If your ignition switch is defective, you must check the switch contacts for wear. 10. Bad EGR Valve An EGR valve helps to control the emission of harmful exhaust gases. When the EGR valve goes bad and stays open, too much air may enter the intake manifold. This excessive air can lead the air fuel mixture to become too lean, which causes your vehicle starts and then dies after a few seconds. Eleven bad PCM. The powertrain control module helps to control different functions of the engine, such as the fuel injection system and cooling system. The car requires a precise amount of fuel and air to run efficiently. The PCM uses different sensors to control the function of different engine parts. After some duration, the sensor can fail, and incorrect information is passed to the PCM. In such a condition, your vehicle may die after starting. 12. Fuel Pump Leak The fuel pump delivers fuel from the fuel tank to the engine. Leaks in the fuel injection system or fuel pump can generate different issues with the internal combustion process. If the fuel pump is leaked, then the combustion chamber may not be able to get the right amount of fuel. This may be enough to start the engine but may not keep the engine running. 13. Dead battery A typical classic cause for your automobile to start for a brief while before dying is battery failure. To start your car, it requires power from your battery. But, if your car starts then dies, the problem might be a shortage of charge or a faulty battery.